How do you steer a big old jumbo jet on the ground? Let me show you how. Steering the jet in the air is done with the yoke, and I turn left and right, obviously, and when I pull back and go forward, it moves the elevators on the airplane, but I gotta have airflow over all those surfaces for that to be able to work. But when I'm on the ground, I also have a steering wheel right over here, and I could turn this thing left and right, and it moves the nose gear of the airplane. And in addition to that, for pilots with ADD and ADHD, it has a fidget spinner. Boeing was thinking about this many years ago. Feeling bloated, full of gas, kind of full of air on the inside? Think you're losing your mind? You're not, it's actually happening. You're like this overstuffed bag of chips. When you climb up to altitude, the partial pressure decreases and the air inside of you expands and you're thinking to yourself, Am I the only one that's experiencing this? Mm -mm. Everybody on that airplane is experiencing that. And it's not because of the bean and cheese burrito that you ate earlier. Well, it might be in part, that didn't help, but it's because you're up at altitude and all of the gassy areas inside of you are expanding. So is it okay to let it rip tater chip? Well, be discreet because all your partners on that airplane are doing the exact same thing. You heard it first from me, Captain Steve, fly safe. How many exits are on an average airliner? Well, it depends on the size of the airplane. Why? Because the FAA wants us to get off the airplane in an emergency in 90 seconds or less, and that's everybody. That's pretty ambitious. So the larger the airplane, the more emergency exits there are on the airplane, and they test this. They, put, they fill the airplane with people, they evacuate everybody, 90 seconds or less, they want you out of that seat, down that aisle, down that slide, and on the tarmac on your way to safety. Now you know. I'm Captain Steve. Fly safe.